Welcome back to another episode of the Private Property Home Shoppers Show. Today we are right here in Dainfern Valley at a five bedroom, five and a half bathroom, nine million rand country home that is located in a perfect area, close to amenities, schools, shopping centers, every single thing you need at your fingertips, yet you're still residing in a comfortable, quiet and secure lifestyle estate. So join me as we tour this beautiful home, but right now I'm gonna see if I've still got that magic touch. Now that I've done deafening the neighbors, let's take a look at the living areas and we're going to go this way through the house. But first, where I am right now, we've got a guest bathroom. So the half bathroom on my left hand side, plenty of space there to be utilized as a guest bathroom. You don't need to worry about anybody going through any of your living areas. But on the right hand side, we've got a beautiful study or what could even be another dining area. I think with all the windows situated all the way around this room, letting in so much light, but also letting you look out onto all the colors and flowers and, and the different textures outside. We've got the gravel, the grass, the water. It makes such a nice place to be in and such a nice place to relax in. So that's why I think it'll be perfectly suited for those two things. But as you can see, plenty of space in here for a dining room table, more than enough space in here for an office table. You guys choose, let me know in the comments what you do with this room. So now that we've covered the guest bathroom let's talk about the rest of the living areas here as you've come up those stairs you'll see I'm standing in between what the kitchen is and the lounge area and just in front of me is a beautiful breakfast nook. but take a look at this kitchen chandelier above us stunning island right here in the center with this wood grain super smooth really luxurious I love this farmhouse sink here we've seen this before these farmhouse sinks are so cool you also got your pewter tap just above it again giving you that country vibe all of the designs have been tied in so nicely we've got a whoa, one two three four five burner gas countertop as well as the stove just below it above extract and look at these windows leading into your cupboards, your upper cupboards. Beautiful, almost stained glass, at least reminiscent to that. The windows leading outside as well, sliding, again, country vibe, really nice, letting in tons of natural light and also giving you that air. So when you're cooking in here, you don't need to worry about anything becoming a bit too hot, a bit too heavy, a bit too much. And right over here, just underneath your island is my favorite of all. Guys, what have I got here? Oh, beautiful 2016 Cabernet Sauvignon. I think I'm gonna take this one as well. Let's go. So now that I've squirreled away, mind you, stolen bottle of wine. I don't think you guys should let me in there in your homes. You know what's going to happen. Your wine is going to be pilfered. But right over here, we've got a pantry. So if we open that up, you can put all your dry goods over here. And then talking about stuff that's hidden is this right here is your fridge. So opening that up, hidden fridge, chalkboard in front of it, really cool. Just below there is freezer. So much under counter storage and drawers here on this middle island. Over here, you can stack your plates horizontally and over here, before we go, that is your scullery as well as your laundry area. So let's do a quick tour around that. Walking into your scullery, one thing is immediately apparent and this is where you'll enter your home through your garage. This is a two car garage with another single car garage on the other side of the home. Another cool thing about the scullery is the same with all these beautiful homes, is there are another two sinks here for all your food prep, meal prep, dishes, washing up, 
out of the sight of any guests. Yeah, you'll also find plenty of under counter as well as above counter storage. Your microwave and dishwasher has got plumbing. It's all ready for you. But there's also a laundry room just off here where you can put everything else that doesn't make it in your scullery. So you don't need to worry about anything that leads off into your garden as well. So coming out of the kitchen, you're going to jog around your massive center island and you'll see just to the left breakfast nook here. What I love about this breakfast nook is something that you guys probably will also like is how it is just surrounded by windows. Those two there right in the center are doors that open out onto your garden so you can take a look at your beautiful garden or you can just keep it open and enjoy the summer breeze when that season wraps around and visits us next. As I'm sure a lot of you have noticed, winter has become a bit nippy. So talking about the cold, this living room area right here enjoys another one of those fireplaces. A wood fireplace for you to put on, switch on the TV, enjoy a hot mug of hot chocolate and just love life. It's such a cozy home. It's built perfectly to keep you warm without really high ceilings in the areas where you'd like to stay warm. But this living room area adjoins two of my favorite places in the house. Two of my very favorite places, guys. I'm sure you can guess one because I'm always stealing bottles of this. Right here to my left is the bar area. Let's take a look. So here we are, favorite room of the house, the bar area. This bar area has access not only to your living room, but also to your outside patio. It's a really big bar here, guys. I'm quite enjoying this. Sink built into the bar, windows all around, plumbing for your fridges, and I think it's time for us to enjoy a drink. But before we can do that, let me show you. I said this is the first of my two favorite places in this house. Let me show you what my second is. Guys, going downstairs here leads us into an area that I think would make a perfect cinema. Here we are, just off the bar. I mean, guys, as soon as you see this, the lighting, everything. Perfect cinema. You can imagine throwing a projector there. Huge screen right over here. Chairs, couches, bean bags, everything that makes it comfy, everything that makes it cozy. Right in front of me, so just behind where you guys are looking at me from, there's your very own bathroom. And on the right hand side, I think would make a perfect place, just in that little enclave there, for a little kitchen. Popcorn machine, maybe a slushy machine, some beers, some drinks, you know what I mean. Guys, how nice is this? Let's take a look at that bathroom and let's head back upstairs. The bathroom located just off of this downstairs area has a walk-in shower, your very own single vanity, under counter storage as is per the norm, beautiful wallpaper lining both of the walls and then your toilet front and center. Guys, I'm having a bad day today. My cameraman hasn't let me watch the movie, he hasn't let me enjoy my drinks, he's probably going to make me return my wine. It's not my day, so let's just go downstairs. And this is your outside patio area. Now this patio area is probably one of my favorites that I've seen because it continues the theme of this house. And in my opinion, that theme isn't just country, it's cozy country, it's warm, inviting, easy to live in. And why I say that is we've got plantation style shutters right here, aluminum. So these are security shutters as well, not that you need them here. Where they're stripped and you can pull these all the way across Grab those there, pull those all the way across, and there's some over there that we're gonna show you in a moment. Close those shutters, keep them open. You've essentially extended your living area all the way here. We've got a fireplace over there, an area there for brying, for a fire pit, for a hammock. Let your imagination run wild. The two chandeliers above you, beautiful, and all overlooking that right there. What a garden beautiful pool. Guys, tell me in the comments again. I want some input. Let me know what you love about this house. Let me know how you design this house. Let me know what you'd think, how you'd feel if you had to live in this house. Specifically with winter coming, I hope you're all watching this episode tucked into bed, drinking some hot chocolate. Tell me what you think about how cozy this can get. Right here, I'm outside on the outside deck. Guys, if you've watched that video of the Australian talking about his deck, Leave a green heart in our comments, but beautiful area to sit, relax, enjoy the sunshine. Balconies on all of the upstairs bedrooms. We're gonna talk about that in a moment. And right down there, massive blue pool for you and the family to enjoy whenever you want, or just for you to enjoy, really. If you're gonna come here and live the life of a bachelor or bachelorette, guys, I wouldn't say this is a bad decision. Over there, beautiful place for you to sun yourself, catch some rays, maybe not in the winter, but in the summertime. And right over here, stunning garden. We're going to walk through that. We're going to go back into the hallway and we're going to go upstairs and show you what the other bedrooms look like. So 
So here we are wrapping all the way around and we find ourselves back in the entrance hall. But before we go upstairs and explore the four bedrooms located there, right over here is the guest wing. We're gonna take a look at that, we're gonna finish that, and then up these stairs we go wrap around staircase and we're gonna show you what upstairs has to offer. Now, before we head upstairs, let's talk about the only bathroom and bedroom that is located downstairs, and this is it. It's your guest wing of the home. It's got its very own doors that open into this bedroom, as well as the bathroom behind me that we're gonna talk about in a moment. But it's a beautiful guest bedroom, plenty of light, the two chandeliers above me, your very own fireplace, one or four fireplaces located within this home, and then doors that open out onto your beautiful garden, as well as windows letting in so much natural light. It's a lovely place to be, as is the remainder of this home, but wait until you see what we've got for you upstairs because it only gets better the further we go up. So your downstairs guest bedroom has its very own bathroom all sectioned off into your own guest wing of the house. Now that bathroom's got beautiful tilings throughout as well as a walk-in shower, your single vanity with marble top, under counter storage and one of those incredible floating bathtubs that we see so often. Your toilet is not a hidden system toilet but really quality finishes on it with that soft closed lid that you all know I love so much. So there we go, guest wing explored. Let's take a trip up this beautiful wood floored wraparound staircase. I mean, I love the windows there. The windows in this house have actually been done so well because they're all different. They're all different shapes, they're all different sizes. They really do bring that country vibe to the house. But also what it does is lets in lots of natural light and we all love some natural light. But here we are on the upstairs landing and we can't go forward without knowing what's behind us. So let's take a look at the rooms behind us and then the creme de la creme, the master suite. And here we are within the first bedroom located upstairs and something I want you all to know about the bedrooms located upstairs is central air conditioning in each of them so you can keep cool or warm if need be. Also, one of my favorite features really is every single bedroom up here comes with this very own balcony. So right over there, you'll find this beautiful balcony that you can go out on any given time and enjoy the view. The ensuite bathroom upstairs mirrors the layout in form from downstairs. You'll find yourself a walk-in shower as well as a bathtub and your single vanity with a beautiful freestanding bowl, under counter storage, mirror, windows are plenty, beautiful bathroom. And now as promised, into the future we go wrapping across this hallway, beautiful floor lighting there and all the way up the staircase. Storage room right here in case you do need extra storage. And here we find ourselves within the second of the four bedrooms located upstairs. And this bedroom, like all bedrooms located upstairs, plenty of cupboard space, central air conditioning, a little nook here, reading nook, you can sit down, enjoy your book. Beautiful placement of windows, letting in so much natural light. And this bedroom in particular, with its own balcony, has stunning views across the bottom of Dayingfern, across the Yaske River. Love it, love the flooring, love the decor, love the space, and love the comfort. The third bedroom located upstairs just before we head into the master suite shares all the characteristics of the other bedrooms we've seen upstairs with ample space including storage and cupboard space, central air conditioning, beautiful wood floorings, some real quirky wallpaper that just adds a bit of spice to this bedroom and a balcony that overlooks the whole house so it gives you quite a cool view. And now we come to the bathroom that is shared by the previous two bedrooms we've just showed you. This bathroom has got an absolutely massive bathtub so you can really enjoy those hot showers through these winter months. A walk-in shower as well as vanity with plenty of other undercover storage and a marble countertop. And here you are, the wait is over, the creme de la creme, the master suite. This is your own in-suite bathroom. Look at this bathtub, I'm sure it's the first thing that drew your eye. It's almost like a big hollowed out stone sitting here with a faucet moving into it, beautifully located. And the reason I say that is there's a outdoor balcony right here that you can open those swinging doors, get a breeze, steaming hot bath, it sounds beautiful and it really is. Another thing that I find quite beautiful is this walk-in shower over here. Take a look at the exposed Riverstone feature wall. It makes it so much nicer, makes it so much more unique. And when buying a home like this, it's those small touches that you appreciate 
the most. And then on either side of the bathtub, you've got a split vanity. So you and your partner never need to fight about space around your vanity. Beautiful pewter faucets going into those. Plenty of under counter storage. Behind me, you'll find the toilet. And now coming from the bathroom, you might be asking me, Chad, where's the walk-in closets? And guys, you will not be disappointed. This has its very own walk-in closet, but something I want to mention before is right over here, this beautiful, almost floor-to-ceiling window that makes me think of uh, the New York style. It's a New York style window, beautiful, love how it's designed. But here we are, ladies and gentlemen, I know some of you love this stuff. Walk-in closets, plenty of cupboard space, window behind me, letting in all that natural light and it's out of the way, but close enough to the bathroom for you to use it when you need it. But here we are, the master suite, another fireplace, wood fireplace, keeping you warm during the winter months above us. That again, country style rafter system that keeps up the ceiling. Love how it's designed, your very own balcony within your master suite as well. Windows in front of me, balcony behind me, windows on the left hand side of me, beautiful wood flooring, and take a look at all the space in here, king bed, and it doesn't even feel in the slightest bit cramps. Guys, I could do laps around you. If there was a rowing machine, I could row around you. But that is everything we have to show you with this beautiful home. And here we are back downstairs in the garden showing you the final feature and one of the coolest features we've seen in houses such as this and that is your very own putting green. So who would I be if I didn't come to Danefern and try my hand at a round of putting? So while I work on my short game, let me take this time to thank you all for joining in on another episode of the Private Property Home Shopper Show. And for myself, Chad Riveros, the team at Private Property and the team at the Home Shopper Show, thank you so very much. We will catch you again every Monday and Friday at 8 p.m. We love you and goodbye. Bam! <laughs>